There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So hello and uh, good evening, guys. Today it's Monday, August 1st, 2022. So once a year, usually it's the first video that I make after or even on August 1st. Uh, last year, I was actually two weeks late getting to this video. So the fact that I'm doing this now on August the 1st instead of mid-August, uh, that's a big improvement for me compared to a year ago. But what I like to do every year is I like to do a review of my channels. I call them channel years, the date from the date I started the channel to the each anniversary of that day every year. So this is the seventh installment of reviewing my uh, my channel. So this will be a review of my channel's seventh year. And this time around, I will actually have a jersey backdrop this time around. And if you have noticed, which I think that most of my regular viewers have, if you're new to the channel, maybe you haven't noticed it. But notice that my camera is actually stable. It's sturdy. It doesn't move. I'm not busy holding on to it the entire time like I have been doing for, let's just be honest here, the past seven years. This was an innovation that I came up with earlier uh, well, basically a month ago now because it's August 1st as I'm filming this. So it has only been in the past month after do running this channel for seven years that I have been able to say that I actually have a, a camera set up that does not involve me holding onto my phone while recording and talking at the same time. This makes it a lot easier for me. And it makes the uh, videos a lot better to watch. You don't see the camera shaking the entire time. And, you know, this setup here, I came up with this after a comment came on my Detroit Red Wings prototype files video where the commenter was saying that uh, I could, re that basically saying that, uh, if I remember correctly, that you know you can record from your computer, right? And avoid the shaky camera. I think that's what they said. I, I can't remember. It was something along those lines. But anyway. Um, I think I've said it at least once or twice. Already if not three times now. With this video too. But that comment really bothered me. Because I know that that has been. Something that my channel has had. It has been a weight on my channel's shoulders that other channels out there don't have. I don't have a webcam. Uh, I don't have a professional camera set up. And I don't have the newest edition of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Where you can record right from your computer. So, I've gotten a little bit creative. And I've created my own little uh, homemade camera stand so that I could put my phone inside of it and record it from here like this so you know it's the fact that from here on in year seven onward is going to be a guarantee that most of my videos moving forward well it should be most of my videos I'm not going to guarantee every video because there might be times where I'm out or whatever where I have to hold on to my phone while I record. But I do, I guarantee that this should improve the quality of videos from here on in. And this, in my opinion, is the biggest innovation that has happened to the channel since I got my current cell phone a few years ago. So on that front as well, I'm actually hoping to get a, a new phone in the fall, which would actually probably I'm not, I don't think it would make that much of a difference to the picture and sound quality, but to have a newer phone, I do think would be an upgrade as well. Uh, but anyway, this review video is significant because 
when we did this video a year ago in 2021, there was a lot, I had a lot more optimism back then than I do now when it comes to the channel, to be honest. And something else as well is that last year I was reviewing my first year after rebranding the channel. So going from year five, August 1st, 2020, where I rebranded as Roxilla, to then August 1st of last year, which was the first full year of the Roxilla era, instead of the Roxilla 94. Now, this time around, this is the first full year review video of just being Roxilla. No transition, no nothing, just normal operations as per usual. So that is definitely a, a bit of a small milestone, a little bit. Um, but basically from this review onwards, for as long as I keep running this channel, uh, it's basically, there is no transition era basically anymore. But I do think that one thing that has happened, and of course it happens right at the end of a, what I call a channel year instead of a fiscal year, is when I finally come up with some type of major innovation that actually helps the channel. So that's good. Um, I could have waited to maybe launch it now, but I'm glad that I started, I'm glad that I made a new stand for myself um, now rather than later, or I've had it for the past month or so. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot that has changed over the past year. There's things that uh, I want to talk about here, so let's get started. And I'll, I'll get my uh, notes here and look at, let's crunch some numbers. Um, I'm going to have to borrow the light here. And okay, that gets in the way. Um, let's see, I, I've got enough light here, I should be okay. So the amount of views on the channel uh, over the past year has been the worst that it has been in a long time. Um, why don't I just turn on my light here and I'll cover that in just a moment. Truth is, I'm actually really trying to attempt to uh, get this video filmed on the first take because there is a more significant video topic that I would like to finally get around to, to be honest. Um, but anyways, let's look at the years and the view counts on the channel overall over the past bunch of years. So. 2018, there was 29,954. That went up by a little less than 7,000 when it, then in 2019, when there was 36,129 views overall. Then 2020, I remember Operation 50K, I fell about 2,298 views short, which it is what it is. It was disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyway, it, I had four, 47,702 views overall in 2020. And then a year ago, we actually had the biggest jump in channel history for view counts, where it went from 47,702 to 60,299 to break 60,000 views overall. So I could actually say that I've had an average of 10,000 views per year which was a huge, huge accomplishment last year. And that's also why I think fast forward a year later, I don't have, I won't, you probably will find that the tone of this video is this year's review is not as optimistic. Um, so last year was 60,299 at this point last year. Now fast forward to today and that view count went up by only about 5,400 views. So last year was 60,299. This year it is only 65,676. So 65,676 views overall as of 
uh, August 1st, 2022, which is today as I'm filming this. So that is definitely the most, the most considerable decline in view number in view increases that I've had in a long, long time. This is a substantial decrease. Um, Considering that from 2020 to 2021, there was a gain of over 12,000 views. This was a gain that wasn't even half of that number. So that's a pretty substantial drop. It really is, which it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not panicking about it, but that's something that I was like, wow, that's quite a drop, which, which it is. Um, from August 1st of 2020 to August 1st of last year, I made 111 videos. From August 1st of last year till today, I've only made 80 videos, which is also a substantial drop. There's no question about that. Uh, let's see. So 2018, there was 104 subs on the channel. Uh, 2019, it went up to 122. In 2020, it went up by 32 subs to 154. And then 2020 to last year, it went, let's see, oops. So from 154, so up, it went up 27 subs to 181. And now fast forward to today, and it's only gone up by an additional 16 subscribers. So that's a drop as well. So yeah, it, it is definitely a, a, a pr some pretty significant drops across the board. Also, from uh, New Year's Day up until this point, I have made 40 videos. So, 40 of the videos made in the past year have been made since New Year's Day of this year, which was, of course, the day that we got to see the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues play outdoors for the Winter Classic. Um, there, was, there was a detail on the shoulder yoke area with Minnesota's Winter Classic sweater that I wasn't the biggest fan of. But besides that, uh, it was a decent uniform. I love that Minnesota did pay homage to the hockey history of Minnesota, even though I will confess it would have been head over heels happy if Minnesota somehow got to wear a North Stars throwback, which with Dallas in the NHL and them being the North Stars, um, I can, obviously I can understand why the Wild, the Stars, and the NHL did not want the Wild going in that direction. Oh, so basically there was a subtle movement in the picture that you're watching that was like this. Where up until a month ago. So that's what I'm referring to where you see now I can put both my hands in front of the camera hands free. I've never been able to do that until now. So, there is also a rather significant uh, fact that I'm actually going to take some time to throw out there to you guys here. But actually, one sec. I'm going to do one thing. Um, turn off my light. So, you see, I can actually walk away from my camera. I don't have to put it down. I mean, if you're a viewer thinking, why the hell does he keep going on about this? Guys, I, I have to confess, this really excites me. It really excites me that I can actually do this now. I mean, when you've had my low quality setup like I've had for the past seven years, any innovation like this is a massive, where it doesn't mean anything to most people, it means a lot to me. Um, but there is a fact that is a little bit alarming to me that I looked at. And I noticed that basically out of the 80 videos that I've made in the past, I'll call it channel year, which is my version of what is known as a fiscal year. Basically half of the videos that, when I looked at all the videos that I've made in the past year from August 1st uh, to August 1st of this year from last year, looking at how many of the videos were weekly roundup podcast videos, basically, the past year on this channel has been a lot like the final few seasons of Naruto, the anime after the fifth season where Sasuke Uchiha decides to uh, seek out Orochimaru uh, for more power so that he can get revenge for his brother Itachi Uchiha uh, killing 
the Uchiha clan and killing all the other members of the Uchiha clan top to bottom except for Sasuke. So in my opinion, I feel that the past year has had too much filler content rather than productive content that is actually significant. Like say sharing thoughts on uniforms or discussing rule changes or just stuff like that. So I've looked at that today and I have to make a confession. I am really not happy looking at how many weekly roundup podcasts there have been in the past year compared to normal regular content. I mean, on the, the silver lining is, is that because of those videos, though, I have been able to generate 80 videos in the past year. So there is that silver lining, but there are too many weekly roundup podcast videos compared to regular content for me, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's not something that I am completely impressed with with myself. Also... I have to admit the past year has been very frustrating. I mean, the whole pandemic situation, I have, you know, seeing how bad things were getting with the Delta variant. And then by the end of, of 2021, we had Omicron, we had the World Junior Hockey Championship being forced to shut down, the Spangler Cup being canceled yet again. Uh, basically, earlier this year in 2022, I think we did have some uh, capacity limits in the Canadian cities in the NHL, if I remember correctly. So compared to last year, we have come a long way, though. Ever since March, at least here in Canada, a lot of the restrictions have been eased. Things have been a lot better on that front. And thankfully, I think we are heading in the right direction with this whole pandemic situation. It's been a horrible past couple of years. I just hope that things are now turning around and going and will stay turned around and we won't have to go back to hardcore restrictions again. Uh, this Everything that's going on is bad enough already. If you look at, say, the economy and inflation and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's... As, but I will say this, though, as things have reopened, it's been really nice to see some old friends that I haven't seen since the pandemic started uh, on top of that as well. Um, I've been finding that, you know, as things have reopened and society has kind of had a bit of a return to a bit of a normal again, um... I've been finding there's, I've been starting to think about what I want to do moving forward, whether it's with this channel or even in my life in general. And it's been, it's definitely been interesting thinking about some of the things that I would like to do and some of the things I'd like to actually do with this channel. So with that, I'm actually going to make a bit of an announcement, uh, a bit of a premature announcement. I was going to make this announcement a little bit later on in the month, at least after I take care of a certain subscriber's uh, viewer request. And that viewer request would belong to my viewer, Donnell. Uh, but I'm going to make this announcement now. Uh, by the end of this year, the Facebook page is being discontinued. I I think it's time for this channel to really start clawing back and cutting back on the amount of filler. There's too many side projects. There's just not enough focus on the main stuff. I think most of you would agree. I think it is certainly time to start going back to basics. Now, what I'm also very disappointed about is the fact that I had a lot of talk in last year's channel review video and I feel a year later that there has not been enough walking. There's been too much talk, not enough walk. And I got to admit, I'm not too impressed. I'm, you know, truth is this year, though, there have been times where I have been taking uh, periods of longer periods between videos. That actually has been intentional um, in a lot of cases. I've just been feeling that, you know, when you work full time and 
you know, you have other things you need to take care of. I gotta admit, there's been some times where I've been feeling a little bit burnt out. Now, as of late, though, in the past few months, that has actually, ever since about uh, June, the past couple of months, I haven't been feeling as burnt out, and I think that's because I've been taking more time for myself to take care of other things, and that's been really good, and I think that's been better for me personally. I, you know, you got to have a good work-life balance, and you know, if you do something like a channel, a YouTube channel like I do, and you do it as a hobby, if it starts to feel like work, then it's not as exciting and fun anymore. And that's not a good, and there, there have been times that I've been feeling that way. And it's just the fact that I've been taking more time just to enjoy myself and my own peace and quiet and just do my thing and just relax. It's been having a profound effect for all, for the better. It's, you know, guys, you don't want to take on more than you can chew. And that's also part of why I think discontinuing the Facebook page in the coming months is the right thing to do for me. Um, for those of you who do follow me there, uh, for example, this month there will be a Facebook update video. Next month, I'm going to confirm that next month there will be a monthly update video on Facebook as well. But truth is, I'm actually thinking September might actually be the... The final video or it'll be October um, but yeah I think it's definitely time for this channel to really start cutting back on filler so I'm not gonna lie uh, <laughs> there might there might be bigger changes coming than just the Facebook page I think maybe I've kind of hinted at it I've pulled a bit of a pen and teller and hinted at stuff without actually saying it. I don't know if any of you have ever watched the show Pen and Teller Fool Us, uh, but uh, sometimes, a lot of times, most of the uh, magicians that go on there don't fool Pen and Teller. But anyway, what Pen and Teller, well, Pen, because Teller doesn't talk, eh? But Pen Gillette, what he'll do is he'll explain and kind of talk about an act and basically give cues, subtle cues that, hey, I know how you did your act without actually giving it away, which I respect the hell out of him for doing that. But, but yeah, I, I think I've given some hints to as as to what I want to start to do moving forward. But also, there, as I did say earlier, this video is will not be as optimistic as uh, last year's update or channel annual review, and. Truth is, I do think that there will be a review of my channel's eighth year. I think that the channel will be around in a year from today. That's definitely, there's basically a 99% chance that I will be sticking around for at least one more year. But after that, guys, after August 1st of next year, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm sticking around. Um... I am so pissed off that the NHL is putting corporate ads on their jerseys. Major League Baseball is selling themselves out too. And I don't know if I really want to continue talking about a bunch of multi-billion dollar professional sports leagues that are so effing greedy that uh, they put corporate ads on their uniforms. I just, you know... I'm not interested in supporting that, to be honest. I mean, will I still watch the NHL? I can't say that I won't. But am I going to be watching it on as much as possible now? No. Will I watch playoff hockey? Probably. Certainly, yeah. Maybe not probably, but yes. I will. I do plan to... I do plan to still tune into the occasional game but it's not going to be like it has been my whole life i'm not interested in supporting a league that is so greedy when they make billions of dollars that they're now putting ads on their jerseys like you've got ads everywhere else you've got those stupid digital ads and now you want to put corporate ads on the helmets and the jerseys now 
you know, what there's, in my opinion, there comes a point where you need to, we need to start sending a message to these leagues that if you're going to keep getting greedier and greedier, uh, we're not going to put up with your crap anymore. And in my opinion, I feel that too many people are not willing to do that. And, you know, I mean, I'll, I'm being honest, I will still tune into the occasional game. Like, if there's playoff hockey on, I, I will definitely give it a watch once in a while. But it's not going to be like it has been my whole life where, oh my gosh, there's hockey on, I'm going to sit down and watch it. And, you know, when you see a place like Quebec City that would be sold out basically every single night and the NHL would rather let a team play in a 3,000-seat arena for a few years, I mean, I, I just, stuff like that really disappoints me as a hockey fan. I'm not going to lie. Now, I do hope for the Coyotes fans that live in Arizona that they're going to get a new arena built, but... I'm not going to lie. I really don't I don't have a lot of uh faith in Arizona as a hockey market. I mean, I feel bad for their fans, but you know, they they'll leave places like Florida and Arizona that have had attendance issues for, over the years, but a place like Quebec City that's hockey mad doesn't get a team. I just I don't know where the NHL's logic's at. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I just Stuff like that, you know, I almost feel like maybe it's a bit hypocritical. I mean, if you're worried about financial losses, then why aren't you moving your struggling franchises to cities like Quebec or even Houston, Texas, where they probably were in Quebec's case, they certainly would have far better fan support. Now, if you're a Panthers or a Coyotes fan, I obviously don't expect you to like me saying that. But that's just how I feel, you know. I, I'm I'm calling it as I see it, and how I feel. That's just the way it's going to be. I'm not going to hold back on on that. That's for sure. So, um, where do we go from here moving forward? Um, I have a viewer request that I want to take care of in the coming weeks, and I want to finally get around to it. If your name is Donnell. That would be your reverse retro uh, viewer request. I intend to get to that. And by the way, Donnell, if you see this video being uploaded and you see that it's newly uploaded, I will not be uploading this video to my channel until I have the first part of my three-part series on reverse retro uniforms and my thoughts on them being uploaded immediately afterwards. So... If you're seeing this video as a bit of a quick little cut-in between reverse retro videos, as my last video was about the Canucks reverse retro leak, um, I am making it up to you because I'm as soon as this video is put on YouTube for the masses to see, then as soon as it's uploaded, bam, the first reverse retro video is coming up. So don't go too far away. I mean, after this video is, you, if you've sat down and listened to this all the way through, that video should be uploaded, if not already uploading, or if not already uploaded. Um, finally, guys, I, I thank you all for your continued uh, interest in the channel. I, I hope that you guys are continuing to enjoy my stuff. I, I enjoy talking to you guys, well, most of you guys. One guy who uh, basically beat me off because he didn't like what I had to say about the Arizona Coyotes. That guy, I didn't enjoy uh, his uh, comment. Let's just say that. Um, but the rest of you, 99% of you that comment on my videos, I do enjoy talking to you guys. And if I do miss your comments, I do apologize. I just, I have a lot on the go all the time, it seems nowadays. And I don't have as much time to sit down and take care of and respond to comments as I used to. Um, that's also been a challenge as well. I haven't, I don't have as much time to focus on this channel like I used to have even two years ago, or actually I should say three years ago, because that's when I really started to, uh, work a lot more and start working full time all the time. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, 
One thing I would like to see hopefully by the end of this year is to actually be able to say that I've hit 200 subs for the first time. Um, we're only three subs away. That would be a massive milestone. Um, if we get there, great. If not, it's what it is. But anyways, guys, after seven years, uh, thank you for giving me the time of day. I hope you guys continue to enjoy my content. And if you got anything you want to say down below, of course, feel free to comment. But uh, anyways, you guys, as always, um, thanks for making this channel worth it. And until my next video, you guys, take care. And as usual, bye for now.